everybody? How's everybody doing today? This is a very interesting story. I just did one about Americans being children. Well, let's just continue with this one. This one's interesting. A survey. A third of parents say their favorite child is their pet. Can you believe that? New York. This is from John Ander. It may be hard for non-pet owners to understand, but our cats and dogs cuddle their way into our hearts and quickly become beloved members of the family. True. It's incredibly common for pet owners to fall head over heels for their companions. But a new survey reveals that many actually favor their pets over their own children. Uh, it, it, this world has become crazy, isn't it? According to the survey of 2,000 American pet-owning adults, 34% of surveyed parents say their pet is their favorite child. I hope they didn't tell their child that. Boy. In all, 72% of the survey's respondents were both pet owners and parents, and one-fifth of those pet-owning parents even admitted to buying a gift for their furry companions for, for, for their furry companions more recently than a gift for their own child. Well, I do buy my cat a gift at Christmas. But I definitely never forgot my children. They came first. <laughs> the survey put together by Pet Food Company also found that 67% of respondents consider their pet their best friend. Another 78 said their dog or cat is just as much part of their family as another member. Well, I could see that, because if I bought, you know, my cat right now, I'd be pretty sad. i had him for quite a few years. But I, I don't compare my cat to my children or my grandchildren, you know. Perhaps our pets just understand us more than other human beings ever could. Well, that's not true. They don't understand us because they don't think like we do. They, they're on survival mode. You know, if you're good to them, yeah, they're going to be good to you. They'll, but if you're nasty, they'll remember you. 54% of respondents believe their pet gets them on a level that even their best friend or significant other can't reach. Well, that's, you know, I don't know. That's kind of crazy to me. I'm sorry, pet owners. I'm a pet owner, but no way is my pet more important than my family, you know. Or maybe our pets are just there for us much more often than anyone else when we're really in need. Well, that's true. I can't say that is false, you know. My cat knows when I'm upset or something. Yes, it does. A startling 68% of respondents said spending time with their animals after a long day helps them feel far better than hanging out with family or friends. More specifically, 40% of respondents said their pet has helped them through tough times at work, while another 40% admitted their pet has comforted them during relationship struggles. An additional Four, uh, 34% said their pets have helped them cope with medical problems. Yes, and pets do all that. It's true, you know. Pets are more than just a companion. They love us unconditionally and make us want to be better people, commented Lizzie, Lindsay Rebeau, Vice President of Marketing. Mar Marketing. I and a group even admitted to creating a social media for their beloved animals. Yes, they have that. Also, 42% of these self-identified fanatics say they have thrown their furry friend a birthday party, and another 42% said they have bought foes 
or accessories for their pets. Well, yeah, we all do that. But, uh, you know, like, there's a difference between making your pet the first thing in your life, you know. It seems that many pet fanatics are even willing to provide their pets with luxuries typically reserved for humans. <laughs> well, I don't think there should be any reservation on any part. You know, you do what you feel, you know. For example, 41% of fanatics say they spend more money on their pets than their own, than their own, and 40% say they routinely let their pets sleep in, in bed with them. Well, yeah, my cat comes to bed with me every night, you know. I didn't make him do it, he chose to do it, you know. He's really furry though. <laughs> I have to clean my, my pillows off constantly. With all of these statistics, statistics in mind, it isn't all shocking that 68% of all respondents reported believing that pets are people too. Well, you know, you'll believe anything, you know. If your mind controlled, your mind controlled, then you believe it, you know. It's clear from the survey's result that pet owners want the absolute best for their furry friends. With 70 2% of all respondents stating their pet's food should be the same quality as their own. Another 41% of respondents even prepare their pet's food from scratch. There you go. Well, you know, there's a lot of people like me who are alone. Now my cat doesn't eat people food. I never put him on people food so he doesn't have to. He doesn't even like it. I can't make him eat a steak, a piece of chicken, or anything, or fish even. So, I find, like, the survey, I guess, is trying to show that, you know, you can't love your pet more than your own pets. Come on. And that's what's the problem today with mill millennials. You know, they don't really love their kids. Their kids are just like, a, you know, there, you know. And, and they don't raise them, they put them in front of games and everything else, and these kids are raised with their phones. They, they can't communicate with other people on a normal basis, you know. Oh, and the like thing, I did a video the other day on likes and dislikes and how people, how, I guess, uh, YouTube or Google is going to not put likes up anymore because others feel like they're not loved. Because if they're not as liked as somebody else on the internet, you know, they feel like they're left out. Well, the, live with it. Or do something about it. You don't sit there and cry about it. This is what's wrong with our adults today. They can't cope with reality. They just can't cope with reality. Let me know what you think. Thank you.